Ooh, there, I'm Big Alias, and let's get controversial straight off the bat. I'm going to say something opinionated and subjective. Um, and that thing that I'm going to say is that my favorite racing series is Burnout. And I, more so than Gran Turismo or Forza, or, or Need for Speed, where Gran Turismo and Forza are great games. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. They're great games. They are very good games. Um, but... I think, you know, they're just racing games. I mean, if you look at them, they are just the driving games. They're the games where you get in a car and you drive a bit. And then Need for Speed is like that, but a little bit more arcadey. Here's the thing about Burnout. Burnout was actually a different game. It was a different approach to driving games. And they would push the boat out and try different things here and there constantly. Burnout Paradise was one of the first truly open world racing games. And I love it for that. I love this series. I, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I don't really care for one or two. I Honestly, I've never played one or two, so it doesn't mean anything to me. But the reason this series was so great was because of the last three entries. And it has a very bittersweet ending. And that bittersweet ending is bittersweet because it ended perfectly and excellently but too soon and disappointingly because i want more i want more burnout but paradise was such an excellent way to finish a series and such a phenomenal game but leading up to that we had two twins two excellent burnout games leading up to the finale that was paradise we had takedown and we had revenge takedown being three and revenge being unnumbered we also got some like spin-offs you know side games and stuff like that legends denominator i think was one of them um or dominator <laughs> one of the two uh but yeah we had so we had these two excellent games that came before paradise now i actually think that three is better than the one we're looking at today which is burnout revenge but I haven't been playing that one and I don't currently have any footage for it and I'm not sure how I could get it to run. So today we're going to look at Revenge. Revenge was an interesting one. Like I said, I think I think Takedown was better and I think Takedown is my favorite Burnout game. But Revenge is close. It's like a, the younger twin little sister. Despite the fact that it's the next game in the series and they do address some of the issues from Takedown. It is a great experience, just kind of in the shadow of three. But it's very good. And what makes this game so good? And what makes Burnout so good? Well, here's the thing that Burnout does better than any other series. It's crazy, wild, absolutely frantic and smooth as all hell it is so smooth play burnout 3 play burnout takedown and you will see this game was made that game was made in 2004 and it is one of the smoothest experiences i have ever had in a video game and looking at revenge it's basically the same i mean the gameplay is essentially the same they came out within a year of one another but yeah, it is one of the smoothest racing experiences I've ever had. I booted up in between my playthrough of Revenge, um, Need for Speed, what was it? I think it was like Hot Pursuit, uh, the one from 2010, uh, remastered in 2020. I booted that up and I felt like there was input delay, like there was some sort of input lag and it was too swimmy and too floaty. And that was purely because the gameplay in Revenge is so tremendously tight and precise and smooth that moving from that to something else makes it feel swimmy. But this remaster was made in 2020, well released in 2020, 15 years after Revenge. It also felt a lot slower and less action-packed. It held my focus a lot less. You cannot not focus on Revenge. It is wild all the time. And you have a very varied series of races. One thing that I like about this game, well, one of the things that I like about this game, is uh, the way that it's divided. I like the fact that in this game it's divided into, like, you have certain ranks. You get one star, two stars, three stars, four stars, and each one of those encompasses a bunch of events and their ranks, essentially, until you get to the to the core rank. Um, and yeah, that's divided into lots of different races, great locations. I mean, graphically, the game is fantastic, but there are lots of different events. Uh, there's like, there's Road Rage, which is, you know, you have to take people down. Um, there's Burning Lap, which is you have to set a certain lap time. Crash, which is you have to crash your car and do as much damage as possible. Um, and then there's another one, which utilizes, I think, the biggest change from uh take down to revenge which is that you can slam into traffic and not only survive but knock that traffic flying you can absolutely knock it flying only if you approach it from the back if you approach it from the front you're gonna get hit or something that sounds less like sex if you if you hit 
these enemies from behind you can just knock them flying and so there are whole game modes dedicated to knocking as many out of the way and doing as much damage as possible this game is very focused on causing damage rather than getting knocked out by it which i think was a big feature of takedown and it was the only thing that was frustrating about takedown is where you're racing through traffic and they don't they don't lower the amount of traffic when you're going through races you're just constantly crashing into things and, you know and wrecking your car and it's so frustrating there's no rewinds in this game dude it's it's old school so you, you have to start the entire race again if you get knocked out too many times but in this game you can knock that damn traffic out of the way and it's very cathartic and i like it a lot um and you know there's whole game types revolved around that but speaking of the game types that's where my only I only have a couple of issues with this game. Uh, one of the leading issues is that there are certain events that don't pop up much and other events that pop up all the time. Oh my god, there are so many crash events. Personally speaking, I know a lot of people love Crash and they thought it was the best part of the series. They even made an arcade game for the 360 that was just the crash mode. I'm not a fan of it. It feels a little bit too much like luck. Um, I know that you have to like go off of the ramp at the right time or go into the traffic in the right place and I get that but then you're just kind of like waiting around for stuff to happen and I'm not a huge fan of it and there is so much of that that game type in this game you just kind of go through it in order to get the stars and then move on um, once you get a certain amount of stars you unlock the next uh, rank my other issue is that overall it's a lot more subjective I just think takedown had more personality and I prefer the tracks in Takedown. And one thing that's tremendously important, and it's going to sound as though I'm being hyperbolic and I'm making up the importance of this, but I really do mean it. This is very important. The soundtrack for Takedown is phenomenal. I, I, like, so much of the musical taste I have now comes from Takedown. I discovered MCR from Takedown. I discovered um, Yellow Card from Takedown. You know, it's, all of these... There's excellent music, and unfortunately, it's not really present in Revenge. Uh, they really tone down the awesomeness of the soundtrack, and the menus are a bit too like edgy. It just uh, it kind of lacks the character. It feels a bit more urban than Takedown. Takedown was all about like beach driving and stuff like that. So, personally speaking, I preferred that in Takedown, and that would be a knock against Revenge. Um, but besides for that, I mean, it's just wild, dude. Like when you get the right game type on the right track. It's so much fun. It's it's insane. I think one testament as to how great this game is um, is that it was so easy to get footage in this game. It was a breeze, and I had a great time getting footage too. Um, I could just play the game and get tons of footage because you're jumping off like rooftops um, and smashing into cars and taking people down, stuff like that. So I am gonna give this one a score. And that's it. That's the score. Go out and get it. I mean, you you know, it's super cheap, I'd imagine. I think it's around about like eleven ninety nine or something like that. Um, but it is an absolute blast. Uh, and if you if you like action pack driving games, then I'd absolutely recommend this one. And I'll see everyone later. PlayStation is only one hundred and forty nine dollars, and you can also get leading title.